Hello friends. In YouTube one can find a variety of ways of getting the copper out of electric motors. In a previous video I showed you the best way to get the copper out of the rotor of small electric motors. Cutting one side with a 24 to 32 teeth per inch saw and pushing the rest of the copper out with a steel bar. With this kind of motors that have the copper windings on the stator, using a metal saw is not the best way to get the copper off. In this video I will show you all the known methods to get the copper out. I will tell you which is the best way and why. Now, let's start with the worst options. The hacksaw can be a great tool for cutting through this part of the windings because it can leave a clean cut. However, this only will work if the windings are very compact or are stuck together in a solid bunch and the saw has 24 to 32 teeth per inch. Otherwise, the teeth will get caught on the wires and get tangled up in a mess. In many cases, you can't use a hacksaw with these kinds of windings. A powered reciprocating saw isn't much better than a hacksaw. It's just faster in creating a mess. The best blade only has 24 teeth per inch. And unless you can get a grit braid to work, you'll never have at least two to three teeth on the cut at all times. So the wires will get caught and cause a mess. These cut all right, but the wires tend to slip out of the cut and it might take ages to get all the strands cut. If you're going to cut wires, better go for a cable cutter. Cable cutters are like scissors, but they have a curved cutting edge so the wires don't slide out of place. They cut through the wires very easily, but they're too bulky and need long handles so you can provide the necessary force to cut through the thick compact windings and in the end it's a slow process and they leave bent strands of wires that don't help when trying to get the rest of the copper out. A cable cutter works fine. It scarcely has any expense involved unless you need to sharpen it. But it isn't efficient if you have many motors and little time. A chisel, if it's sharp enough, can be a great tool for cutting copper wires, especially when it's not easy to access the place you have to cut. However, one must consider that the bigger the blade, better the cut. And if you go from manual to powered, the faster it can be. But in all, a sharp chisel delivers a very clean cut, making it easy to get the rest of the copper out. Ideally, the size of the blade should be bigger than the motor, or you'll have some difficulty hammering it in and making a clean cut. You can make your own with a 5 mil sheet of steel and keep it deadly sharp for whenever you need it. The best tool, in my opinion, in terms of speed, clean cut and efficiency, is an angle grinder. The disadvantages are it removes a certain amount of copper, which ends up as dust mixed up with residues of abrasive. And each grinding tool has a cost. But if you have many motors and you need to do it fast, this is your best take. However, you must select a wheel size that doesn't put you in danger, either cutting your hand off or flying into your face. Well, those are my choices for these kinds of windings. A wide chisel or an angle grinder or both. 
Please remember, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.